Hi beauties, thank you guys for joining me for another one, okay? Sheba is the name. Uh, and today is all about these clip-ins today, which I am pleasantly surprised that I really like. Uh, um, sensational, so we're working with Rule Breaker 1B, okay? One pack is enough. Uh, I will have the instructional video coming up in just a moment, so don't think I, uh, you're just seeing this. Uh, I just like to give you a preview of what to expect. Um, one pack was plenty. I still have portions that I did not even enter in. Very full, but light at the same time, so you don't feel like your head is just super heavy. Okay. Uh, very easy blending. I have a 4C texture here, and I left minimal out, and so this was the outcome very good okay if you have 4c hair it's a very good uh blend which is why i love curls uh kinks and co because their hair just um meshes very well with mine okay um comments questions anything like that make sure you drop those below i do answer those with the quickness okay and um subscribe make that happen hit that subscribe button so every time your girl falls through uh you'll know what's up and you can see what we're working with for the week okay um that is it. Stay tuned for the instructional video. You'll be able to see how I installed uh, and all that jazz, okay? Stay sweet. Hey beauties. All right, you guys, so this is the instructional part of the video. Um, let's go ahead and jump into it, okay? So, what we're working with today uh, is going to be Curls and Pinks, my fave, absolute uh, one of them. Uh, this is Sensational uh, Curls and Kinks. These are their nine piece texture. Now, they have so many different versions. On my last video, I gave you um, it wasn't Boss Lady. If you're not a fan of Boss Lady or don't know about Boss Lady, there's a wig uh, for Boss Lady, which is it's just beautiful okay um but that the last video was a replica uh of that wig and it was clip-ins and so it turned out really well i loved it um but these are the name of this is rule breaker okay this is in a 1b and um and it's a 10 inch okay so there's nine pieces of this this is enough okay if you're wondering if one pack is enough it's going to be enough ladies okay um i don't even think i used all of the last one when i did um the last video i still had a piece remaining and you can kind of alter those pieces as you please you know um to fit however you want to put those in but look at these curls like this reminds me of a this is a very tight coil pretty curl you can see how it is on the model um, for me it's going to be all about blending this portion here at the top now I'm gonna go ahead and take these out but I do want to say this I am NOT going to be um, uh, taking down my hair and parting them in to, to, to put them in that way um, I prefer to keep my hair in some type of protective style at all times just because I'm working on rebuilding her um, Giving him some more life, you know um, And so anyway, I'm gonna go over the top of I'm just gonna place these over the top of my plaits until I get at the very top and Manipulate it how I see fit. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do a middle part Side part. I'm not really sure um, So let's get to it all right, so just in case you're wondering, uh, it has a nine inch, one nine inch piece, two seven inch pieces, four five inch pieces, 
and two of the three inch pieces. So that is how they're divvied or divided up, okay? Our layers, okay? Just to kind of give us that look that we're looking for. Just cutting these out of the box. Look at that curl. This is definitely not my typical curl. But we'll see, ladies. All right, so I have my nine, my nine inch weft out, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and just put her in. I'm gonna start with her, put the longest one for the length, and just kind of go up that way, okay? Okay, so I'm going to repeat this pattern pretty much throughout until I get to the top. And again, I'll unplug this portion and try to figure out how I want to maneuver it. Okay, um, but as you can see, if you're worried about if you're doing it like I'm doing it or you have your hair in some type of protective style and you just want to go over, place these over it, you're not going to be able to, to see it later. Okay, so don't worry about people seeing your plaits. Um, it's not going to be a problem. Okay. Once we get to the top, I'll just kind of, you know, if need be, I'll adjust. Okay. How I'm doing them. So I'm going to just speed this up. Okay. So you guys can just see me laying, uh, layering the tracks or putting those in. All right, you guys, so just putting in the nine inch in the back, um, I wanted to switch that up because I want to make, again, my, my head is very round. So I wanted to make sure I have the longer portions right here at the core um, and then go from there. So what I'm gonna do is instead of using the nine, I'm gonna put the seven inch in the back and then work my way up to the two nines and then go smaller, okay? So this is again the seven. So now, once I put those sevens in, I'm gonna go back and do the two nines here, and then I'll go from there with my five, three, and so forth at the top, okay?
All right, you guys, so I think I'm gonna do just the middle part and we'll just do a middle part here, which is I have my plaits here. I just took this and parted my hair. It's not the straightest part, but um, took this to sh and uh, parted it. Again, I'm gonna just put my piece over the top of this. So I'm gonna do one piece, like four more pieces, okay? All right, you guys, so with these last two pieces, what I'm gonna do is just have them go back. So I'm gonna put a piece on top here to have it go back. And then this portion of my true hair, um, I'm just, I just parted that and I'm gonna put another piece under here, okay? Now this is kind of lifting because this is a portion that I cut off. So this was a longer piece and I cut it in half. So that is why it's like that. I'm just gonna bobby pin it down. That's not a problem, okay. And what I have remaining are two of the three wefts, okay. Um, so I'm gonna put, now this is a little big, I mean a little long. So I'm gonna cut this portion and put it here, here, okay. And we will be finished, ladies. Alright ladies, so this is truly it. I am finished and um, yeah, you can see the little bit that I left out. I'm just going to put a little bit of um, something to kind of blend that a little bit better. But with my horsey texture hair, that, that's okay because I have a very minimal amount out to blend. Um, so that's just fine. And then I can put a horsey edge control on my edges here, okay? I like it though. I do like the curl pattern. It is very different for me, uh, but yeah. Okay. This is your
right you guys beauties that is it we've come to the end this was very simple you guys um for the install um literally less than you know 10 minutes or so for the style um and um didn't take a lot for me to blend uh, again my hair was kind of short right there because it had broke off so it was very easy for me to just um you know blend those together um so any quest uh, questions comments that you guys have make sure you leave those below i love them um and i do respond with the quickness okay uh until the next time you guys be kind um it's not hard to be kind to someone be kind be a blessing if you can uh, to someone else, you and your families, stay blessed as well. Sheba is signing off for today. Bye-bye. Peace.